Hey everyone, this is Rishi from Pitch Innovations, and today I'm excited to introduce you to a brand new plugin, Groove Shaper. Groove Shaper is the first of its kind sequencer plugin that uses shapes to create rhythms. Imagine turning everyday shapes into striking beats and epic grooves. Sounds interesting? Well, let's dive right in. So I've just installed the plugin and I'm going to open it up in my DAW. One of the great features of Groove Shaper is the ability to pad it up with your favorite synths and samplers. When you first open the plugin, it will automatically prompt you to scan all the plugins in your system. Click on the scan button and let it work its magic. This will only take a couple of minutes depending on the number of plugins in your system. If you need to add any custom plugin scan locations, just hit the button right here and manage your plugins efficiently. You can also drag and drop any AU or VST plugin files into the plugin scanner to add one or more plugins into your existing list. If you're a Logic user, you can choose to use the MediaFX version instead and host it in the MediaFX insert like this. Now let's take a closer look at the user interface. Up top, we've got the header. This is where you host your favorite synth or sampler instruments. You can also set the time signature or modify the bar length of the sequencer in the header here. Groove Shaper also comes with hundreds of presets across various instrument categories to help you create grooves in just seconds. Now let's quickly listen to some of them. Now let's talk about the heart of Groove Shaper, the shape blocks. You can think of these as building blocks of your rhythmic patterns. Each shape corresponds to a musical value, which you can see by hovering over each of the shape blocks. To use the shape blocks, you can simply drag and drop them onto a step like this. You can either use a MIDI keyboard or you can use a MIDI clip in your DAW to trigger the shape sequencer. If you want to clear a step, you can simply right click on it or you can hit the clear step button below. So let's build a quick pattern using these blocks. And that's how simple it is to create a pattern in Groove Shaper. Now that we have a good rhythm going on, let's explore how we can fine tune a pattern in the sequences settings. Here, you can control various aspects like the global velocity, gate, and swing. Now the power of Groove Shaper does not end there. You can make this pattern your own by customizing the shapes even further. To do that, simply select a shape to access the shape settings. In here, you can choose to mute a couple of notes, modify the individual notes velocity, and also every note repeats gate values. Additionally, you can select the tie icon 
to tie any two nodes together. Another powerful feature of Groove Shaper is the MIDI capture button. You can either use Groove Shaper as an instrument to trigger MIDI clips near door, or you can record your patterns by clicking on Capture MIDI in the sequences settings. Once you're done, you can click on stop and drag your MIDI onto a new track for even further editing. If you're using Logic Pro 10.7.5 and above, you can simply right click on the MIDI FX here to enable Record MIDI to Track. With this enabled, you can simply record and get Groove Shaper's note repeat output directly into your MIDI track. Groove Shaper also features a magic dice designed to give you endless inspiration. This magic dice will intelligently create new patterns based on the instrument type that you've selected. So that means you will never run out of ideas. Now let's quickly look at the toolbar at the bottom which features a lot of powerful functions. You can use the undo or redo button to go back and forth with any changes that you've made. In addition to the shapes view, we also have a bar view where you can visualize the note repeats in each shape. And if you click on the third one, you have the score view which displays the notation. Over here, you can change the sequence's tempo to half time or double time. You can also push the plugin even further by setting a key limit. With key limit, you can modify the sequence's MIDI note range. So that means the repeats will only be triggered if I play the notes within the set range. For example, I'm going to set C1 to B2 as the key limit of my sequencer and I'm going to use the rest of the octaves to play a melody like this. The settings menu gives you access to global and advanced settings. You can change the sequence's tempo, transpose, and also play with advanced settings. You can also choose from the different skins to match your vibe. And there you have it, a walkthrough of a brand new plugin Groove Shaper. I hope you enjoy the plugin and use it to create endless rhythmic patterns with ease. Until next time, keep grooving and keep creating.